explored the areas of application wave and foil boarding, Slingshot launches the SST. Previously known by its predecessors is the very short kept bridle that survives without a pulley. Furthermore, the steering lines are directly connected to the tip hand, in the end, there are three different possibilities to adjust turning speed and bar pressure. Line deflectors are only found at the end of the front tube. The three cross struts of the SST continuously get by without them. For inflation and deflation it still has the well-known in and deflate valve, with an additional classic deflate valve. The only innovation in 2020 at the SST is the new canopy ripstop material, which is called for by 4 the goal of such fabric is for the responsiveness to be crispier, as the kite structure is sturdier due to the stiff fabric. In case of a self-rescue, there is a webbing loop on each of the tips on the inside. Dacron materials are being widely used for the tip areas as well as the leading and trailing edges. Thus, the leading and trailing edges are partially provided with Dacron and partially with double canopy. Today, we have Slingshot's famous split strut as cross tubes. The canopy is attached to the struts left and right, resulting in higher stiffness of the kite. Furthermore, diverse materials provide higher robustness, from Kevlar to upholstered Cordura patches. Of course, the Dacron strip mustn't be missing from the transition from the leading edge to the canopy. Slingshot's SST still accounts as the wave kite that, in comparison, charges quickly, but can also additionally be optimally accelerated with a light movement, so that you obtain a good, to very good low wind performance. The upwind performance is also good. All in all, very little corrections are needed here, to maintain the position of the kite optimal in the wind window. The throughout comfortable bar feeling is accompanied with low to average steering and holding force. The kite stays very responsive even in the depowered state and follows every command precisely. That's a matter that is directly noticeable in foil boarding. Furthermore we have uniformly intermediate power with very light controlled progressive peaks. Controlled and steady is also the case with the power expansion. Its rotating characteristics stay unchanged, very narrow and round, even in the most extreme steering lock there is only a tiny pivoting registered. The SSD is still a truly perfectly balanced canopy, which guarantees excellent flight stability in any situation. And the profile stability is just as well. The three strut kite can do well even in the lowest wind speed as well as rough wind conditions, without greatly wobbling or developing a life of its own. Its depower abilities is excellent. A great wind range can be controlled and realized by pushing the bar, even in the highest range. And a very important matter is the one we have previously addressed, that the directness and the steering doesn't get lost in the depowered position. Its narrow rotating capability and its directness grant him a great range of application in the steering style. He performs even better in the surf style. There are very little canopy for setting and drifting that deliver comparable assets, even in 2020. It always positions itself optimally and stays in the sky. 
positioniert sich stets optimal und bleibt sehr lange am Himmel. The SSD is still one of the absolute best kites in the wave segment in comparison to all manufacturers. And, in foil boarding, it has this first necessary push and impulse in the first sign to get on the wing as soon as possible and after that it acts completely neutral, which is what one actually wants. And if you compare him in the usual freeride segment of the three strutters, you also have a very, very good, harmonic, very easy maneuvered kite that doesn't overwhelm anyone. Whether you really receive a true must-have with this 4x4 ripstop fabric in the 2020 model is not 100% sure. Several of our riders are friends with the SST, meaning they have ridden them for a very, very long time, and they couldn't establish a clear difference. Last year, we have spoken about a tiny obstruction between steering conduct and impulse and the emerging power. With this fabric, that occurs in the slightest minimally improved. Otherwise, even after a very intense test phase, no genuine differences have been established. Which principally isn't bad, because it is still one of the best kites on the market. If you decide on one of the SST models from the past two years, you receive a superb piece of sports equipment. And in foil boarding, especially with a combination of big wings and a small canopy, it has an excellent performance in regards to steering and, of course, on the wave. And for any type of wave conditions, of course.